Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over our cash envelope recap from last week and our stuffing of our envelopes for this coming week. All right, so we're in my Happy Planner Notes notebook and the cover I made myself just using InDesign. Really simple, very easy. And let's go to last week's budget just going to do this quickly because there's kind of a lot to get through because I'm combining um, these two videos, which I usually do separately. But since we didn't have very many cash envelopes last week, I thought it would just be okay to combine them this time. So last week we had a single payday and that means only my husband got paid. So we brought in $810 and our variable expenses were really low. And for this coming week, they're much, much higher. So it kind of like balance, it balances out from week to week. But we had $200. So let's go to the cash envelope portion from last week. So we had only four categories. So super manageable, which was nice. And I will show you and explain what we did and how we did it. So these were the envelopes that I used and I relabeled them just for the sake of being able to identify them more quickly and easily. Um, so first let's go to gas. So I'm calling that fuel and I budgeted $70. So my husband's truck always takes a little bit more to fill up than my car. Um, well, I have like a crossover. And so um, that's both of our gas it built into that number and recently he's been spending like five dollars or so at a time on gas for the lawnmower so in here we have five dollars left so you might be wondering if you're new and you haven't seen my videos before how can you have an exact five dollars left well first of all i guess you could because gas you just go in and pay what you want to pay pay what you want to fill up but um second of all the envelopes that i make are just really basic and they're very thin. So I never put change in these. So I always round up to the nearest dollar. Um, anything that I can put in here would just be bills. So if I have any change left over, any coins, I always put those in a change purse in my purse and then I empty that pretty much at the end of the week. I just put it in our change jar at home. So that's how I handle that. But we just take out what we need from this and we pay whole numbers anyway because we go in and pay. So we have $5 left. So that means we spend $65. And I haven't, I personally have not been using as much gas lately. And I don't know if I'm just not driving as much or, or what. I don't know why that's working out the way it is, but I'm just not putting as much gas in my car. I'm not filling up as much. So we had $5 remaining. So that was really cool. So for the groceries, I have in this envelope um, we have nothing left and that means we had $90 budgeted and we have nothing remaining so I know that we spent oh actually more than 90 because I took some money out of my personal miscellaneous envelope from last week and it's because not only did we have to grocery shop and buy food for the dogs and things like that, but we also have been planning a really big cookout for Sunday. And so we had a ton of expenses for that. So groceries, I have nothing left. And then in my miscellaneous envelope here, I have three bucks. So I'm going to put 17 down and three. And then lastly, for last week, um, we have John's envelope and he usually just takes the money and gives me the envelope back. So 20 and that's a wash. So let's add up. We had $200 budgeted for all the categories. So we spent 65 plus 90 plus 17 plus 20 is $192 that we actually spent. And that means we had $8 left. And that is what we have here. And some of you do ask, what do you do with the extra money? It really depends. I decide that week to week. So sometimes I can put this into our savings. I can put it now into our miscellaneous sinking fund. 
and just let it hang out in there. Sometimes I add it to one of our miscellaneous envelope for the next week. You know, if I'm budgeting myself $20, I might have now $28 to put in there. It just depends. I mean, it also depends on our income and if I need this money specifically for something or if I can actually just put it into savings and let it hang out somewhere. So that is our recap for last week. Really short and simple this week. It's a lot more um, involved. So this week we had $23.48 coming in, and for our bills we had, oh gosh, how much we have? $270. For our variables, $815, and then for sinking funds, I'm going to do $150. So our variables are pretty long this week, and I'm not even sure I have enough lines drawn. I thought I would, but I am not sure, and actually I screwed up there, so... Um, I always mess up somehow. I have lots of envelopes to stuff. In fact, I need to use the ones from last week too and I need to add a whole bunch more because last week we only had four categories. I went and got our money. So for our variables, I, I needed $815. So I went ahead and pretty much organized it already in the increments that I needed for each envelope. So I'm gonna go down and um, start with, um, well, I'll explain. I'll explain as I go. So the first thing first, gifts. And the reason why I wanted to mention gifts first is because I also wanted to get your inputs. I like asking you guys questions sometimes and having you weigh in on things. So we have been invited to one, two, five graduation parties. No, six. Six graduation parties so far. And we are only planning. Oh, I'm shaking this. Sorry, guys. We're only planning on going to one of them. So in my opinion, I think $25 for not attending a party is acceptable. I don't know. Is that the going rate? Here's the part two to this. We don't have kids, so we're never going to end up inviting people to a graduation party. Um, but I just wanted to know because, you know, I didn't know what the going rate was. And I want to send something because we've been invited. But I also don't want to go broke you know, paying for graduation parties that we're not even attending. So let me know what you think about that. Um, like I said, we decided on 25 bucks for those that we weren't attending. So we budgeted $125 for those five parties. And I'm not even going to write in the actual because the actual remaining columns are for next week when we reconcile. So I'm going to go ahead and take out 125 and what I realized is a I don't want to send cash in the mail because we're not going to these parties and b this isn't the right increments so what I'm going to have to do is go put this back into the bank and I'm going to have to write checks and send cards to everybody so I know that that may seem old-fashioned and antiquated but I'm not really sure how else to do it since we're not going um, I'm not going to Venmo these people or PayPal them um, so I need to go put this back in and I need to write some good old-fashioned checks so we have $125 in our gifts so this gift is gonna have to this envelope is gonna have to come back with me to the bank um, I just really wasn't thinking that through but that's okay because it still is good for me to record it here and have a nice visual of what I'm doing of all our money this week so let's move on to the next thing and this is going to be the grad party that we are attending and like I said we're gonna do $50 now this is for a co-worker's son and I've never met this person um, oh I've never met um, the the child the son that's graduating from high school so I think $50 is plenty for that and in fact I'm gonna put it back in here just because I designated this for gifts I have to make a note with the extra 50 score so I am gonna probably just give him cash in a card because we are going and I don't know, is that the going rate for a party that you're attending? I I, I don't even know that. I, it's just been a while. So um, my mom's birthday um, was this weekend. And I budgeted $125 for her gift. So I'm so glad that I pre-organized this money, guys. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much time that's saving me. So I know I have a birthday envelope, at least I thought I did. Yeah, 
So you might be asking yourself, like, why are you taking this out of your paycheck now that you have a sinking fund? Well, our sinking fund is only a week old, and I really want to build that up before I start pulling from it. So right now, I want to concentrate on padding it and letting it sit there and hang out for a while. So for our next expense is our cookout. So we're celebrating my mom's birthday and my husband's birthday at the same time. And I used some money from last week to get him his gift. I had some money put aside and I had some money in savings for his. So for our cookout, we're having all of our family over and some friends. I needed to spend extra money. Oh, I spent all of our grocery money. I spent some of my um, miscellaneous money. I didn't spend much of it last week on supplies for the cookout. And then we need an additional 150 because we had to buy wine and, and drinks and pop and um, you know, bottled water and ice and all the rest of the food. We ordered some of the food. We're making some of it. It's just really an expense. So for the cookout, I needed an additional 150 to cover everything. So I'm going to take 150 for that and quickly buy up the rest of the things that we need for the weekend. So that's our entertaining envelope. And then next, what do I have? Oh, okay, gas, fuel. Um, this is for John's truck and my vehicle and also for um, our lawnmower if we need it. So here is the envelope for that. And I am putting in $75, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. All right, so we've got $75 in here. And like I said, I, I just haven't been putting as much gas in my car. Well, not that I'm not putting as much gas. I haven't been filling it up as often, um, which has been really nice. So $75 for that. And then... We have, <laughs> there's a lot of birthdays in June. We have another birthday. Um, not a family birthday, but I need to budget 30 bucks for that. And I need to put that back in my birthday envelope. Where's my birthday envelope? Here we go. All right, so that's $30 for that. Lots of gifts and birthdays this time. And miscellaneous Erin. I am putting in $40. And I think I am going to get, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, actually. This is my envelope. I've been using this for a few weeks now. I love it so much. So miscellaneous Aaron, 40 bucks. Okay. And then miscellaneous John. And what I have found out is John always, you know, just takes the money and gives me back the envelope because he's not going to, you know, keep a register or receipts and stuff what he does with, you know, this cash. Um, but he does have another little jar that he puts in, like any extra um, change he's been um, having held over from his um, money, his allotments, and any bills and stuff, he just puts it in there, which I think is cool. Um, and then what else do I have? Miscellaneous one, miscellaneous two, dog food. And we do need to budget for that this week. That's gonna be $15, so let me, I have, the wrong old label on that one. All right, so dog food is going to be 15 bucks. So we buy our supplies for our dog food at Aldi, and I know I've said so many times I'm gonna do a video on that, and I really apologize. I've just been bombarded with stuff to do. And dining out is this week gonna be $50. So we have our $50 bill here. Here's our dining out envelope now. Put that inside there. Got that ready to go. And what else? Groceries. I told you I didn't do enough lines. I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> I'm just going to keep writing though. 
and I'll add the lines later. So groceries, we're gonna do $100. So I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna start, um, oh guys, I'm gonna really start eating healthier. You know, I always say I'm gonna diet, and I try these fad diets and stuff, you know, where it's like super low calorie, things like that, and it just doesn't work. So I'm going to um, buy some really healthy stuff, and. Just be moderate. So Dr. Copay, I have a doctor's appointment this week. My copay for my insurance is $15. And that is exactly how much money I have left. So that is my stuffing for the week. So let's add it all up and make sure that it came out to be a grand total of $815. So we have 125 plus 50 plus 125 plus 150 plus 75, plus 30, plus 40, plus 40, plus 15, plus 50, plus 100, plus 15. 815, perfect. I love that. You know, not that I didn't expect it to um, turn out perfectly, you know, the numbers to match up. But sometimes I do make mistakes and I always like breathe a sigh of relief when it actually does add up to what I planned. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with that. So as you can see, our cash envelopes for this week have taken up literally an entire page. So lots going on and sometimes you'll have weeks like that. And here are all my envelopes ready to go. Now, again, I have to remind myself to take the gift one with the graduation money back to the bank and make sure that I deposit that so I can write some checks. And I do like to keep a couple checkbooks on hand at any given time because you just never know when you're going to need one. And I know that some people don't have any checks at all anymore. And I know your bank will even write them for you. But I just like the convenience of having them on hand once in a while. And it's really not that expensive to order them so I do have checks ready to go and next what I'm going to do and then separate video because this is getting quite long is I'm going to do my sinking funds for the week I'm going to explain to you what's going on with those and if you guys remember if you watched my first video I have the sinking fund system all ready to go and um, I'm using the belly band scrap paper system. So if you want to check that out, I will probably list that in the description as well as that safe if you're interested. I do have some new cash envelopes coming up if you're interested in buying those and I'll show you how they are gonna get mailed out to you. Um, there, I have a little bit more than the envelopes to send and uh, I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Take care.